sometimes paintings kind of need to evolve. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, I think as an artist, you should always kind of formulate new questions and kind of step into um, just this other unknown world of yours, starting all over again. And I'm kind of starting all over with this painting. Sometimes destroying something is kind of almost as fun as making it. think of it almost like a the Dr. Dre approach where he releases something like once in a decade. I probably won't take too long but um, I'm kind of working on some paintings that I feel like would take me about a year or two and part of that includes cutting off my favorite parts of certain old paintings and I kind of want to bring a little bit of life into them and make a painting out of them so I'm making a collage out of this. Part of the process of my paintings are just to get painted over. I started this sometime last year, and originally it was, um, it used to be a self-portrait actually. I was, I was working on my first self-portrait ever, and this is me with a cowboy hat. Um, I've recently kind of been, or I've been trying to, this is art in COVID times. Um, but before this, I was kind of working on a series, on a new series of I want to take kind of the next two years of just experimenting and just not focus on anything else but searching and searching for a new style. I started going to places where I did as a kid in Mexico and so this is kind of me there seeing some cockfighting and that's me with a sombrero. There used to be a person here dancing, this is their elbow, their face used to be here. There was like some more bushes that I saw over there. There were some drawings of some flowers that I had before, that I painted over. This is entitled En Buscade. En Buscade means in search of. And there's a lot of symbolism and different meanings. Flowers, the snakes, the snake, the butterfly, the dancing in it. It's my time in Mexico and seeing the Aztec dancers. And I actually did a little bit of Aztec dancing as a kid as well. And it's just me re revisiting my childhood and seeing what has shaped me in my past that is, has been so impactful in my current present. Or one reason why they dance and search for kind of eternal harmony and self and that's why it's, I titled it En Busquede. And it's also me searching for a new direction in art and drifting away from your standard portraiture. The failed attempts I these are kind of like the practice before the real thing. I um, all of these are kind of gonna probably go to the trash or something. Um, out of all these, I don't know how many are in here, but I usually pick a few that I like. I don't really like any of these. They're they're not good enough. <laughs> These are kind of the rejection, rejected ones um, that I'll never use. This is how long it took me to get it right, I guess.
the, both of these paintings as well, the other one, have a long kind of story and narrative, and there's a lot of symbolism that would take probably forever to talk about. I'm in the process of writing little short essays about each one to kind of explain more in depth about each, um, each one. And, and because there's so many other paintings before here that you don't see because I painted over it. And a lot of that adds more meaning to what's on top of it. Yeah, this painting was actually about a, an angel who had a devil on their shoulder. This painting represented the idea of uh, even the nicest people in this world, this angel, could have a bad side to them and them kind of contemplating about making a good decision or a decision of pleasure or, you know, the good and the bad of the angel pretty much. And along the way I kind of painted over it and to me it kind of represents now that the, the, he chose the bad side of him and the bad side of destruction and it was kind of a self reflection type of thing too, where I liked how I painted this figure, this angel with wings. And it's kind of me deciding, do I leave it alone or do I paint over it? This is what it looked like before. This person was represented a, a overall good character, a person with good morals. I feel like everyone has some sort of evil in them, right? Everyone has temptations, at least curiosities of wanting to do something that could be morally wrong. And sometimes I just paint for fun without any, like, without the intention of actually making something someday out of it or without an ending, pretty much. 